Agent Power Huddle is a daily jumpstart, giving you all the tools you need to create an amazing real estate career. Led by top experts in the field, you'll learn how to sell more houses in less time while creating the life you want. Welcome to the Agent Power Huddle. All right. Welcome, everyone. My name is Barry Oberton, and I'm happy to be here with the for Agent Power Huddle Monday Mindset. Uh, really excited to share this particular um, discussion and topic today. And uh, first and foremost, I uh, want to just, if someone could just give me a thumbs up, make sure I'm not just talking to myself and make sure that you can hear me. Uh, just whether you give me a thumbs up or drop something in the chat, to let me know that you can hear me. I'd appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you, James. And um, today we're going to be talking about how to use chat GPT as a thinking partner, how to use AI as a thinking partner. Uh, but before I can take you into the future of thinking, I got to take you all the way back to the past. We're going to go all the way back to 1936 and how all of this kind of transpired for me, how I've been using this well before chat GPT. Um, but chat GPT has really just made it easier to do. Um, but I'm going to show you some things, some practices that I put in place probably 10 years ago in regards to developing mastermind alliances and, and thinking partners. And the crazy part of it, I never met with the people that are part of my mastermind alliance. Some of them are no longer alive and they've never been alive during the time that I created this mastermind alliance. And so I'll explain to you how that works here as we go through today's conversation. But um, I'm really just um, excited to share this because, like I said, number one, I think we all understand the power of masterminds, being able to connect and, and network and relate and pass ideas back and forth with people that are, say, in our same industry, this industry of real estate. I can't tell you how many masterminds I've been a part of. And these were actual live masterminds with other producing and top producing real estate agents. And every time I go to an event like that, there's something great that I get out of it. Sometimes, you know, there are newer agents that have amazing ideas that some of the older agents, seasoned agents and, and agents that are producing, you know, um, millions of dollars a year that shake away something from the brand new agent. So the, the power of masterminds in general for your business and, and for your growth and development are uh, an, it's just a, an essential part of being able to, to get better in whatever it is that you're doing. So when I looked at um, understanding the masterminds, this is something that came to me about 10 years ago. So roughly um, about 12 years ago, um, I really started digging deep into Napoleon Hill. I read it um, actually 15 years ago for the very first time. Since then, I've read that book, um, uh, Think and Grow Rich, uh, six different times. And it was through the, the multiple times of reading it that I learned certain things in regards to his thinking and the thinking of the 500 entrepreneurs that he interviewed to compile the, the 17 principles that he has in that book, I also understood, better understood their thinking. And then I understood how that can transform my own thinking. And one of the areas that Napoleon Hill talked about was a mastermind alliance. And this was um, a group that he had created in his mind of people, many of them were no longer living. I mean, it was Alexander Graham Bell, it was Abraham Lincoln, and uh, these folks were not alive. Uh, Bell was during the time of Napoleon Hill, but he died in 1921. Um, Napoleon Hill wrote uh, or published Think and Grow Rich in 1936. Um, obviously, Abraham Lincoln was, was no longer alive. But what he did is he studied these men. He studied their, their successes, their losses, their failures, their comebacks and all the things about them. And he had such a great understanding of who they were that he could under, he felt like he could understand their way of thinking. And he was a master really at being able to, to do this. 
And so he would create these mastermind sessions with himself and these imaginary, you know, leaders that had, had truly lived, but were no longer here. So he had these mastermind sessions in his mind. And he said that it got so scary at, at one point that he actually had to stop doing it because the the imagery that was being created was, felt so real to him. So much to the point that he actually stopped doing it for a period of time. And he, he makes a recollec recollection in the book, Thinking Grow Rich, where he, he talked about waking up in the middle of the night and Alexander Graham Bell and Napoleon, or excuse me, and um, Abraham Lincoln are at the foot of his bed. And they're, they're telling him, where have you been? We need to connect again. We need to continue our mastermind. So that for me was just a, a powerful deep dive into our ability to, to think and get into the minds of, of others. And, you know, I think it's always important, you know, we've always heard, had that question of, you know, if you could get, you, you probably remember the meme, if you could get, um, you know, $10 million or uh, a dinner with Jay-Z, which would you take? Well, Jay-Z is a billionaire and most people would take the $10 million. I'm that person. I would take the dinner because all I would be asking him is I wouldn't ask him about his, his, um, his albums that he's produced, his songs, the movies that he's produced. Um, I would ask him about his thinking. Where was his thinking in the very beginning? Where was his thinking as he saw success happening? Where was his thinking when he made his first hundred million? Where was his thinking as he was going towards a billion? Where is his thinking now? I would want to understand that would be far more valuable than, than the $10 million. Because if you can understand and you can uh, emulate that thinking, then you have the ability to create the same type of success. You know, Tony Robbins uh, has a quote where he says, if you want to be successful, uh, find someone that has achieved the things that you want to achieve and copy what they do until you achieve the same success. Well, part of that copy is not necessarily just, you know, literally watching what they do and then doing it. It is having the same type of mindset. It's going to be a shift in your thinking to be able to, to do that. So like I said, for 10 years now, I've had my own mastermind. My mastermind has included uh, Steve Jobs, uh, Elon Musk, Michael Jordan, Muhammad Ali. Um, and these were, number one, some of the people that inspired me as, as a child, some of the people that inspired me as a young adult, some of the people that inspired me you know, currently and and you think about it, of those, half of them are no longer alive. None of them have I ever met. Uh, but one of the things that I learned, also another one recently that I put on there, it was after his passing, was Kobe Bryant. And Kobe Bryant is one that I have learned so much more about him and his thinking than I ever knew prior to uh, when he was with us. And I am just intrigued by understanding how he thought at 11 and 12 years old about what his future would be and how he would become successful and the work ethic that was built behind that, that thinking that he had. Um, so again, finding those people that inspire you and why they inspire you. And guess what? None of them are in real estate, but every one of them, I take away pieces of what I've learned from each one of them to use to grow my real estate business. And so doing that over the course of the years, it has allowed me to be able to, to create a, a mindset and in, in regards to how I build my real estate business. Um, I'm going to share some things that how I put this into chat GPT here in just a second and how it's helped me to, to continue to grow as well. But building my real estate business uh, 10 years ago really started with understanding you know, how Steve Jobs started with uh, Apple computers and how at one point he was released from Apple computers and he came back. And when he came back, he made it what we know it to be today. Um, and so going through challenges and going through uh, struggles as you continue to build something that you can 
that you believe in and being a creative and, and not giving up on these creative thoughts, not giving up on visionary thinking. And so when I understood I can build my own business from that standpoint, that's exactly what I've been doing over, over the last um, 10 years um, in, in being um, in another company, a, a network marketing company that helped me grow there and then transforming those same thoughts into the area of, of real estate. And it has served me well to be able to do that. I've taught some others how to be able to do the exact same thing. And it's really just being able to get into the mind and understanding. And when I put this information into chat GPT, because the, the people that I mentioned, Michael Jordan, Muhammad Ali, Elon Musk, um, Steve Jobs, Kobe Bryant, these were all people because I've studied them for so long that I was very familiar with, and I was very, very comfortable with thinking in this situation, how would Kobe respond to it? If I had a challenging day in real estate, in this situation, how would Michael Jordan respond to it? In this situation, how would Steve Jobs look at progressing forward, you know, with what's currently going on? Um, and I was able to come up with the answers. So it's, you know, you think about it to have any, just one of those people, people would pay tens of thousands of dollars to have the guidance and leadership of those folks. But we have books, we have video, we have podcasts that give us the ability to really tap into all of these different individuals. Now I can tell you doing it that way took time because I had to be a sponge and, and read everything that I could on those individuals. I had to look at all the different videos, many of those videos, looking at them over and over and over again until that thinking that whatever they're talking about on that particular video absorbed into my mind as, as part of my own thinking and understanding how I could use what I just learned to prosper or to become more successful just in life in general. And so that was really big steps that I had to take, um, time that I had to take. And it's still, I still do that to this day. I can tell you, you know, I've, I've been uh, trained by Les Brown. I spent two years uh, being trained by Les Brown. But prior to those two years, I was just from uh, 2020 to late 2021. And um, prior to that, I was being trained by Les Brown through YouTube. I was listening to Les Brown continuously. And then I just had the fortune of actually being able to uh, actually be trained by him during the pandemic because Les Brown was at all. He had nowhere to go and he wasn't speaking. And he said, you know what? I'm going to find a way where I can impact people all around the world. And I had the fortune of being a part of, you know, probably three, 400 people around the world that were in a group that he was uh, uh coaching and training on speaking. And uh, I, I had that fortune of being a part of masterminds, with NFL Hall of Famers. I've had a mentor that's a two-time Super Bowl champion. I've had mentors that were multimillionaires. So um, I've seeked out looking for people that were very successful and always taking the time and taking the moment to be able to learn from their success, learn from their failures and becoming better myself through their experiences, but more importantly, their thinking. So that leads us to now 2024, where we have technology that allows us to do what I was doing for a longer period of time of learning and understanding all these different individuals to being able to use AI, uh, particularly chat GPT to put information in and learn how to build in certain aspects of my business. So let's talk about ChatGPT for a minute. ChatGPT, uh, if you, you're you not using it or you've never even heard of it, let me just kind of explain it to you. It is a, um, a, a piece of software that allows you the ability to be able to create a task rabbit, so to speak. I, I can tell you when I first started it, um, the first thing that I used it for was creating the public remarks on my listings. Um, 
this was usually, it usually took me 30, 45 minutes to craft whatever I was going to say about a new listing when I'm placing it online. And then I, I can tell you, I would go back and change it, you know, throughout the course of the next week until I felt like I really had it dialed in. And um, it was time consuming. So ChatGPT has now given me the opportunity to have that public remarks done in a matter of seconds, a matter of minutes, and be happy with what I've, I've got. And literally just putting the prompts, I give all the information about the house and I would tell ChatGPT, I would give it a prompt to put this in a professional, eloquent tone, and it would do just that. And maybe I'm changing a few words here and there, but I went from 45 minutes to four to five minutes of now having a, a great public remark. And I used it a great deal for that. I've used it, I do, um, you know, video scripts and I use it to create the scripts because once again, that's an area that trying to get all the wording correct was something that took time. So ChatGBT has helped me to uh, to be able to get those scripts down much faster. But I can tell you, it was, I, I was looking at Gary Vaynerchuk, someone else that I follow, uh, but Gary Vaynerchuk was, he's made a comment about how we are using uh, AI in one format and we're missing another great opportunity with it. And it's really to be able to create um, a thinking partner, create something that is going to help you to become better in your business, but not by giving it a task, but by asking it questions and giving it, uh, having conversations back and forth with ChatGPT. And so what I started to do is I, I put, put a class on around this in the class, I show the, the information that I put in, I basically put a prompt in, of uh, saying, create a mastermind session that includes Elon Musk, Steve jobs, uh, Muhammad Ali. And I think I put, um, uh, Les Brown in, in this particular one. And I said, create a mastermind session with those people um, discussing how to help me build a successful real estate business. And through that, it gave me uh, information from each one of those people giving me advice on the next steps of uh, what I should be doing to build a real estate business. With Steve Jobs, he talked, the first thing it said was be different, be unique be innovative in creating, creating something that is outside the box of the norm of what everyone else is doing in real estate. And if any of you know and understand Steve Jobs, that sounds like it came directly from him. And so understanding that aspect of it, and the beauty of it is because I had already been uh, doing these mastermind sessions in my mind, that's exactly what I received myself from Steve Jobs um, with um, you know, the Muhammad Ali was about being, um, you know, being courageous, being brave, going against, you know, what everyone else may say is, is the right thing to do, but staying with your own beliefs and continuing to move forward. Because as long as you have faith in it, and as long as you can believe it, eventually you will conceive those, those thoughts into a reality. And that fit very well. And the reason I picked people that I already knew is because I wanted to see how accurate the information was. And so, you know, that was something Tony Robbins was the other one that I had in there. And what Tony Robbins mentioned was again, personal development, but he also talked about the power of networking. So for me thinking from the standpoint of, man, I just put this in chat GPT. It gave me the information that I've pretty much been using for the you know, last several years, but it took me many months and many years to kind of get an understanding of all these people to be able to get to this point. And here it is. I've done it in a matter of a couple of minutes. So it's a very powerful tool from, from that perspective. Um, I can tell you one of the other things that I did is I'm not very familiar with Tom Ferry, but we all know who Tom Ferry is. So, but I'm not familiar with his thinking. I haven't studied him, um, you know, enough to really understand him. So I did put him in chat GPT 
And I had a good friend of mine who does, he, he takes his trainings and he's a part of the Tom Ferry organization. And I, I had him look at what came up. So I asked the same question uh, as though I'm in a mastermind session with Tom Ferry. And I asked for 10 different areas of where I should focus on building my real estate business. And through ChatGPT, it gave me these 10 different areas. Um, one of the things that I, I thought about through this is, okay, let's take a deeper dive into this. So when it gave me one of the areas uh, one of the areas was technology and how important that is to being a part of your real estate business. So then I went back, I took that piece on technology that ChatGPT gave me, and I asked it to, in in the voice and thinking of Tom Ferry, tell me, you know, what it is exactly that I should be doing in, um, you know, the area of technology. And it came back and it gave me, you know, you should be creating video content, you should be using on your listing presentations and on your listings using technology, using the latest technology. And then it gave me examples of different types of technology that I should be using. Well, you know, Matterport was one for you know, a, a listing. Well, I knew what, what Matterport was, but uh, it also said Box Brownie, which I had never heard of. So I then took a deeper dive into, um, explain what box brownie is and how is it effective in real estate and what where are real estate agents having success using box brown and once again chat gpt took a deeper dive so we went from asking for the top 10 areas that i should be working in to to going all the way deeper down into using a certain piece of technology and i could have done that on all 10 of these recommendations um, so you can see where it can really help you. Now, if you're you're looking to build your business plan, you know, hopefully for 2024, you already have that in place. But if you don't and you're you're thinking, OK, I need to have a business plan. Think about being able to use ChatGPT and going right in and asking those questions about your market, about the current business structure that you have, doing it from the perspective of, say, a um a Buffini or a Tom Ferry or, you know, someone highly successful in real estate. And like I said, they don't even have to be in real estate. They've just been highly successful, but you want to get their advice, so to speak, through chat GPT um, and, and using it for your real estate business, uh, play around with it, see what you come up with. It's like I said, it's been a, a phenomenal tool for, for growth for me. And I look forward to, to just being able to see uh, where each and every one of you uh, to utilize it. But um, the technology that we have these days, just getting better and better. And that's one thing that I, I always say is what we currently have, as amazing as it is right now, this is the worst that it's going to be. It's only going to get better. So just making sure that you're, you're, you're putting those things to use. And uh, I would I would just challenge you today, as, as I said, it's a matter of minutes. You know, think about that person that most inspires you in business or with their success and just go into ChatGPT. There's a free, you know, if you haven't ever used ChatGPT, there's a $20 a month, that, which I paid for, for ChatGPT4. But there's a free uh, side of ChatGPT that I used for probably about a year before I ever um, bought the, the service and still got great results from it. So it's a great tool just to kind of play with and, and go in there today and, and just put that person that inspires you and motivates you. Um, yeah, I I've used that one as well. That's another great, uh, tool. I think, uh, using that for images, um, so many things that are popping up on, um, um, on the AI front, I, some of you may have heard of Sora. This is where you can actually create uh, video content. Now it's a, just a little short, almost like GIFs at this point. But once again, when you see it, you'll, you'll be like, okay, this is kind of cool, but it's only like two seconds or three seconds. Um, what you'll find is it's only going to get better. As I said, what we're seeing right now, imagine being able to put a prompt into a, an AI component and ask it to make a video for you 
and in a matter of a couple of minutes, it creates the video. And like I said, it's two to three seconds now, but I venture to guess within a matter of a few months, those videos will get longer and longer. Uh, kind of digress there, but again, it's just being able to use the, all the, the technology and things that we have available, but definitely go in, use it as a thinking partner, ask the questions that you know are, are kind of keeping you, have you stuck right now. I can't tell you how many times on a daily basis going into chat GPT in regards to navigating that I'm uh, something that I'm trying to do on my business and then just asking the questions of it to be able to at least get me unstuck and move forward um, on, on my progress. My productivity in regards to developing and creating and all the different things that I do has really just skyrocketed probably over the last six months. And I, it really is because of AI. And I always say that, you know, I'm not using it to to replace real intelligence. I'm using it to make real intelligence better. Our intelligence, our own minds, uh, I'm learning from it. So I'm, I'm finding different ways to be able to be a student of the AI to, be, to become better myself. So definitely, um, you know, suggest each and every one of you go out Play with that and um, look forward to, you know, I'm on, uh, if you're in the, the Agent Collective, I'm in there. Love to hear what results you're coming up with. Uh, if you're part of the Super Agents Collaborative, definitely drop it in the WhatsApp group there. Um, thank you, everyone, for being with us today. I hope this was something that was helpful um, for you. And I, again, I look forward to seeing you play with that and uh, see how it helps you build and grow your business. Thanks, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. If you'd like more information or to get connected to the Agent Power Huddle, join our free Facebook group. This call was designed for the agents in our EXP organization, but open to any agent from any brokerage. If you're a guest and you're interested in learning more about EXP or our specific resources within the Agent Collective, reach out to the person who invited you to this call to get more info. Produced by the Agent Collective Media Network.